An immigrant quits his manager job to pursue his art dream and is now still living off his parents' money. A recent college grad who could barely finish a final year because of COVID and is still living with her parents come together on a random Tuesday and decide to embark on a new adventure, an artistic journey about shit. Can they meet the deadline? Not much time is left. Will they get accepted? Or face rejection. Are they just wasting their time and money, or will they finally become one of the cool people? Keep watching to find out. What if we paint literal shit and apply it to art shows? That's interesting. You could turn it into a shit show. Yeah, it will be the shit. By the way, the deadline is in less than a week. Oh, we should start planning then. It's not Tuesday night. Six days away from the deadline to send in our application with six portfolio works. We still have zero. Huh? We have decided on our studio name, logo, and registered a few social media accounts. You can follow them now. Step one: think of painting concepts. So, what are we painting? At the very beginning, the concept was just to paint really realistic pieces of poop. But luckily, throughout our continued conversation, the poop and shit idea moved closer to being a concept instead of the subject. Some inspo pics here. I'm not, I wasn't gonna read that. I was just a... with concepts and idea set in place. Now it's time for step two: find a studio space. It's now Wednesday, five days away from the deadline. I started looking for a space for us to paint. Finding a temporary studio space in such a short time is tough. Some cost a lot. Some can't be available this weekend, and cost a lot. Then comes Thursday, four days away from the deadline. We got a space to paint. Special thanks to Academy of Really Star Toronto. They gave us permission to use one of their classrooms for that weekend. The deadline is four days away, and we still got zero paintings ready. On Friday, three days away from the deadline. We made more composition tweaks and created a shopping list for the big production weekend. It's going to be two very long days, and we have to finish six paintings in two days. So, um, day one. One, two, three, four. Step one. Wake up, brother, gonna rise the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. Grow hard out what you wanna be. Step four. Okay. Everybody just do your thing. Okay. Wake up. Make sure I don't get hit. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. 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 The plan of day one is to get supply, start painting, work till midnight if need be, finish as much as we can today. Because tomorrow we also have to photograph the finished paintings, write artist statement, and apply to shows. Majority of the paintings should be done today. But then this happened. That's our day one. Two paintings waiting for finishing touches, and four more paintings just barely started. Day two.
after two stressful days, we finally have six finished paintings, which is just enough to apply for the art shows. Can you believe it? It's like a dream. Oh my god. We photograph the paintings, write an artist statement, upload and submit. For some reason, the name Pop Poop got rejected when filling the application, so Cass filled her name instead. It should be an easy fix for later. For now, we just need to finish everything before the building closes. Have you seen a video of a girl ask another girl why they have an eye patch? No. There was a girl fucking. There was a lot of food, I see, or okay. verdad? Tirado todo, like everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then the seagulls started circling up <laughs> to the food. And then I looked up on accident. <laughs> I looked up on accident. And um, it shit it on my eye. So I went to the office. And then the lady told me to put a bed in there. Congratulations! I'm delighted to inform you that our journey is has enough. Yes! Woo! Yo, shake my hand right now. Denied. <sighs> no, you have no idea. You have no idea. I'm someone got rejected three times. Okay, now we have to get. To the production phase two. Yeah, see you in on June 15th. Is that what it is? There are a few more things to get done before phase one of this epic art mission can come to a close. The first thing was changing our name to Pop Hoop. If you remember from earlier when we were applying, we noticed that Tove did not allow studio names to be used and displayed on their platform. It was brushed off rather quickly as time was running out and we figured it was a problem that we could solve later. Well, later is today. Hello. regarding the boots. Yes. Um, I originally applied as an individual artist, so I wanted to ask if it was possible to upgrade my individual boot to a community one. Uh, uh, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, we'll see how we go. Ooh, what can we do? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, we did it, kind of. After seeing all the additional requirements, aka a bunch more paintings that we didn't have and at least four more members that unfortunately don't exist, we determined the community route was not for pop poop. So much you Just go with the Shout out to Lavender. Lover. She's quick and efficient. So, continue your legal name. <laughs> 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 Pop poop for half a year. Half a year? So, bad news, the pop poop name will not be on the official tove, but the good news is that the pop poop art will still be a part of the event, and I, Cass, in case you didn't notice, will just be the messenger for the time being. We didn't dwell too long and moved on to making the official website. I kinda like that, bro. <laughs> Whoa, did you see how that picture opened? Okay, wait, there's gonna be another picture. Boom. <laughs> Everything is live now! <laughs> all social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and the official Pop Poop website. Check it all out. Give it your love. We would really appreciate it.